Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, February 18th, 2020. The time is 2.12 p.m. This is our weekly business meeting. Calling this meeting to order. Michelle, please. The pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So let's move on to the consent calendar. I move that we approve the consent calendar as listed on our business meeting agenda for February 18th, 2020. Second motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Filias. Aye. Motion to carry. Payables list. Mm -hmm. I move that we approve the payables for the week of February 10th through the 14th, 2020, in the amount of $1,115,762.34, along with jury panel payments in the amount of $1,522.64. I second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Filios. Aye. Motion carried. Any changes to the agenda? Hearing none, moving on to the first of our action items. Memorandum regarding Kootenai County Lease Agreement, First Interstate Bank, for CDA Jet Center Airport, Stephen. Commissioner Stephen Kerr, for the record, this is a memorandum for uh, allowing a bank to show that they have a financial interest in the buildings on the CDA Jet uh, lease agreements. This is our standard agreement that we've had before, and they've signed it and not made any changes to it. Okay. Questions? Motion? I move that we approve the memorandum uh, regarding the lease agreement uh, with CDA Jet Center and their lien holder, First Interstate Bank. Second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Filios. Aye. Motion carried. Item number two, mutual rescission of lease agreement AAL-250 Coalfield to Bowers Airport, Stephen. Mr. Kerry, for the record, this is a mutual rescission for the next item. It's a banger that was sold on the field. Okay. Questions? Motion. I move that we um, approve or accept the mutual rescission of lease agreement for AAL 250 Coalfield Bowers. I second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Filios. Aye. Motion carried. Item number three ground lease AAL 2020-200 for FISEC at the airport. Commissioner Steve Kerrigan, uh, this is a new lease ground lease. It's for two years for the first term and 25 year renewal for the next one. It was $205.37 per month, uh, and it's with our new standard lease agreements. Okay. Motion. I move that we approve the ground lease AAL 2020-200, and is it FISEC, is that what you said? Yes. FISEC at the airport. I second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Filios. Aye. Motion carried. Item number four, agreement for pictometry, International Corp, for GIS, Information Technology. Dave. Commissioner Dave Christensen for the record. Um, I'm bringing today forward uh, our annual pictometry aerial imagery. It's the flight of the prairie that we do. The cost has come in roughly the same as it did last year. Actually went down by about $10. $10. We, uh, the only new information to really bring forward is I've been working with KEC and it looks like they're gonna come on board as a, a one third partner. Right now we pay about half, the city split the other half. And, and so hopefully in, in at least this year we'll get one third uh, Reduce our costs and maybe we can continue that. Um, we've been working with it last year. So Good. That's where we're at right now. Excellent. Okay. So the total cost is just under 40000 Yes. And that's split? That is split. We pay uh, about eight, we pay 18000 something mm -hmm. and change, and then the, the cities of Post Falls, Coeur d'Alene, and Hayden pay the other pay half. The other half. Wonderful. Motion. Um, well, I just have yeah, a question. Um, yeah. Does legal typically review? Um, these agreements or does it they matter? have in the past it's really the same contract that, co that comes through we've, we've been working with this company five six years okay. now um, now um, with KEC coming on board is that for 2020 or 2021 2020 oh, it would okay. be with our 2020 flight okay great okay go ahead 
I move that we approve the agreement with Pic Pictometry International Corp for our GIS flight. I second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Filios. Aye. Motion carried. Item number five, claims for surplus cash, 808 trust fund. The treasurer, Lori. Thank you, commissioners. Lori Thomas, for the record. We have um, two memos in front of the commissioners that we would like to have approval. This is to have your office actually request checks from the 808 trust fund for properties that were sold at the auction that the commissioners held on October 7th. These are surplus funds that were um, collected during that auction and it falls under Idaho Code 31808 in that um, there was a change in the law back in 2016 and record owners or parties of interest can apply for those claims and these are the claims that we have received today. We do have one claim that has been pending with um, our civil counsel since the latter part of January. We're waiting for him to make a decision on a prioritization of the claims. We will probably be bringing one more once we get a decision from him. So, but these are spelled out um, based on those claims. Okay. Questions? How do you want the uh, motion to read? Are we executing the claims for surplus? Does it sound accurate? Are we executing? Exactly. How, how should yeah. the motion read? Yeah. yeah. Uh, how do you want the motion? What exactly is happening? Um, basically, you are giving approval for your staff to issue payments to these recorded parties of interest and record owners. Okay. So, I, I think you would want it that specific. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. Okay. You can phrase what you said in the form of the motion. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Did, so, are you okay? We'll see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I move that uh, the Board of Commissioners authorize staff to issue checks for the claims for surplus cash from the 808 trust fund as outlined by the treasurer and state law. I second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Williams. Aye, and the motion is carried. Item number six, request for check residual, we just did, oh no, 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 no. it's no. next one, okay. So, request for check for the residual sur surplus funds 2015 through 2018 for tax deed auction sales to the state of Idaho for unclaimed property, our treasurer again, Deputy Treasurer Lori. Thank you, commissioners, and again, Lori Thomas for the record. This request in front of you is um, reflecting a change in Idaho statute that allows us to take the residual funds that have not we have not received a claim for and forward those on to the state treasurer's office. They will maintain them. They will deal with anybody that comes along after this process that you just approved. Um, and they will decide whether or not they're qualified to receive the unclaimed properties. And please note that these are for reflected for sale in year 2015 to 2018 once we have the checks that you just approved will be coming back to you with another resolution for 2019. Okay. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I move that we authorize or approve the check being sent to um, the state tax, state, state treasurer. State treasurer. State treasurer. The unclaimed fund. Right, for the residual surplus funds for tax deed um, auction sales 2015 to 2018 and it's the Unclaimed Property Division. I second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Filios. Aye. Motion carried. Item number seven, ratify resolution 2020-17, Exhibit B, to the lease agreement with Science Bank Corp. Auditor. So this Dina. is just to formalize the minutes from last week's business meeting where you approved the lease agreement. So this is just to, I guess, ratify. 
the resolution was buried in the lease agreement, yes, and yes. it wasn't delineated in the uh, item on the agenda, so it's just a ratification. And for the benefit of the record, this mm -hmm. is for the vehicles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Understood. Okay. And I move that we ratify resolution 2020-17 uh, exhibit B to the lease agreement with Zion's Bank. Aye. Bill Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Duncan? Aye. Chairman Phillips? Aye. And the motion is carried. Public comment? Non-223 meeting adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.